what's going on YouTube Q back here again with another video for you today's video I'm about to be the dad horse not a Mustang video but a Camaro video unfortunately it's snowing but this is a topic that I gotta get down again and I went over this in the past but I still get a lot of inquiries on the Camaro's visibility and I'm just gonna walk through it so so you can see for yourself I'm gonna put the GoPro on my head do a point of view video so you can see what I see when I drive the Camaro now we can't go crazy out here because it is randomly snowing it was like 60 degrees a few days ago now it's snowing and I already planned the video so got to go through with it if you look at the ground it's not accumulating so we're good just a little bit on the vehicles so that's what we're going to be doing today point of view Camaro visibility and I will show you a struggle that I do have in the Camaro because of the way that it is designed now me personally it is not a problem the visibility is not a problem for me at all in the Camaro but initially coming up to a Camaro it can seem quite intimidating so I'm about to go through that today don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell browse the channel let's jump into the video So we get to do the visibility just for a little bit on the Mustangs. So we can kind of compare just a little bit. I'm not leaving the house, just pulling out the garage so you can see what you can see. Hopefully y'all can see. So the Mustang, you can see more, but it's not so much more. It's like, man, this Camaro is undrivable. cold start for y'all now I'm about to do the same with the blazer all right so the blazer hands down has the best visibility as it is supposed to it's even got this woo huge panoramic sunroof so you can see literally everything you want to hang out the roof if you want to but that's kind of the purpose of this vehicle let me close that because I let's the warm air out not to say that it's even warm in here 20 degrees outside and snowing all right and we hop in the camaro shut up chingy all right heated steering wheel on all right Got the buckle up. Pulling out the garage. Um, the challenge is you don't know where the front is. So for me, when I pull in the garage, I got a marker. I like to pull up to this wood pillar right there. So then that's that's just my spot. Same thing with the Mustang too. I do the same exact thing. These cars got long hoods. Mirror adjustment is very important, and I'll go over that in a little bit. Let me get out this driveway though, and we'll reconvene. Just like a regular car, like I can see the blazer. The main thing is setting the mirrors. See, I know the blazer is there. Hey, hopefully y'all can see it. I know I'm very close to the blazer. Shut my garage, but we'll be, what the, what is that noise? And these, uh, if you have a 2SS or a ZL1, like you get a lot of beep, beep, beeps gets annoying at times because it's not even things that are in the way it's just the ground and the forward collision too does the same thing so the camaro was designed from the outside coming in let me show you what i mean so when i ah, when i say that it's like the windows look how small the windows are and i have small hands so you don't get a lot of window size and that's everybody's main problem the back window is larger than the side windows, but it's hard to see out of in the back. Just looking around the car, 
it's beautifully designed especially that side profile this is my favorite side profile let the front too but this car is definitely designed from the outside coming in looks amazing though but it compromised the visibility and that's what most people's gripe is especially on the test drive like you won't notice this if you own the car it's not a problem but on the quick five minute test drive huge problem and it turns off a lot of people so the first thing you want to do in the camaro make sure your windows are set correctly so hopefully this angle shows up for you all so most people they set their side mirrors and they can see the side of their car and that's the improper way to do it you want to go over to where you don't see the side of your car because why do you need to see the side of your car like you know what the side of your car looks like i just told you you got a sexy profile in your camaro why do you need to see it all the time but i get it though but what you want to do is get the side of the car out of it that way you can see the blind spots so when you try to merge you don't have those problems and then having the 2SS or ZL1, um, I don't know if the V6s have it, but I got blind spot monitoring on this one now. So that actually helps out more too. And this one has memory seat, so that helps out. And I set mine. One is for my running shoes, two is for my basketball shoes, three is for my boots. Got spoiled up in this thing. And then the 2SSs and ZL1s, we got this camera right here, which is a... Uh, might be hard to see right now boom there we go so it's a camera in the shark fan antenna back there and it acts as a rear view camera hopefully it don't look goofy when i turn it back to a regular camera but it it helps see out the back because if you look out the back you can barely see anything back there but changing it to the digital mirror that actually helps and this is adjustable too so i keep mine at the same size or what I would see out the normal mirror because going back and forth and at nighttime you can see the flickers of the LEDs and other cars. I don't really like all of that, but yeah, you can adjust it. You can zoom in, zoom out, but I like to keep it around the same. Adjust the brightness, the height of it. That's very helpful, but that's really the main thing. You can notice it's darker in here once I close the sunroof. That's why I really like it brightens things up in here let me turn that back to the regular mirror because the digital mirror it actually changes the angle of the mirror and the sun is behind me but let me show you all like once you get your mirror set it's not really a problem it's high belt lines but that's you get high belt lines in the charger too the mustang is better with that the dash is pretty high you don't get to see the sky like in most cars you would be seeing like more of up here and a little more in front of you but that's, that doesn't make the car not safe because you're in the field of view of what you need to see. It's not like a, a Tesla Model X where you can see the whole sky. Like you can see what you need to see. It's not unsafe to where you can't see what you don't, where there's something that you do need to see that you can't see. But that's, that's just how this car is. And if you go into it knowing that, you'll be fine. And adjusting the mirrors, that's like the main thing. Because my first time driving the Camaro, I'm like, man, I can't see Jack out of here, especially the front. But now I'm kind of used to these long hooded cars. So I know what I'm doing when it comes to that. But let me show you. This is probably the biggest obstacle I have ever came across in a Camaro. This ATM. This thing is a beast right here. Because the way that it's angled. I'm defeated, man. You see this? I can barely. Man. So for this. I can barely reach the pin. And then like once I gotta go to the touch screen, I can't even reach that. Like this is a struggle. And I'm six feet tall with long arms. So you gotta come through. I actually gotta park up there. I actually don't come here, but I gotta park up there to use this ATM and walk back or park back there and walk forward. So this is the biggest obstacle I came across. This is a nice ATM too, cause they offer $5 bills. But yeah, let me show you all the driving, like with people in the blind spots. Like seeing in front of you, you can see whatever you need to see. Owning, this is my second Camaro, so it's definitely not a problem at all. You get used to it too. Like even if I didn't know the mirror thing, you get used to it. And I'm taking it easy out here because there's more snow up here. See everything I need to see. Look at my side view mirror. Nobody's on the side of me. 
getting on to the highway. Down shift. The Jeep on some nice wheels. No pedestrians. I see birds flying. It's an automotive journalist thing. Like when they complain about the visibility. Like I said, when you first meet the car, it's like, dang. I've driven the Mustang. I can see more. The Challenger, I can see more. But this car is different. But like two seaters, like a Corvette. Like you get better visibility than a Corvette. Nobody complains about that though. I don't know if it's because the back seats, because it has back seats or what. As you can see, I'm looking in my mirrors. I'm about to just get over it. Because I know, hey, that's nice. But yeah, I can see other people approaching on the side of me. They're like way back there. Let me slow down the grandpa speeds out here. So just looking in my mirror, I can see that that is, let me see when they get in the light. I'm a little like a Dodge Dart, a Buick LeSabre. No, that's Lincoln MKS. I can see all of that. I can see him getting out of his lane. using common sense to drive if I look in that mirror nobody's merging on the highway I'm good speeding it up a little more and then the speedometer up here helps you keep your eyes on the road snow came out of nowhere I think it's good up here all right so let me start I'm getting around these people so I can get this guy on my passenger side mirror so I gotta focus right here passing them the blind spot light came on but I can see them and once I can see like the whole front bumper I know I can just get in front of them as long as I'm going fast enough but that's like the basis of driving like passing people you gotta have the speed and momentum to get around them what the? It's all you'll ever need to get out of here. Well, yeah, just passing people. I know there's an on ramp here. Getting around this guy, F 150. See his front bumper. I get over, look further into the right lane. There's nobody there. No visibility problems here. So if you can drive, if you know how to drive, you can drive the Camaro. Visibility is an overblown issue. Like, get good. Get good at driving. It'll be all right. Is this salt? Dude. Oh. Uh, when would the salt trucker came out here? It is it's like the snow didn't even stick. Why would they salt? What a safe Sorry need another car wash anyway but that's it about the visibility like just test drive the car if you're thinking about it like i wouldn't let that deter me from buying the camaro because it's awesome as it drives like the visibility that's that's really all they can say about this car and some cheap plastics around here like especially down here and the oh there i'll get into that in another video but uh yeah that's all they can really say the biggest complaint is the visibility and that's that's not bad because there's nothing else you can really say that's bad about the car dope why, why is it so much salt though brake squilling brimbos for you see both of these trucks in the side mirror I couldn't believe how many people complained about the visibility, especially automotive journalists. Like, they drive cars for a living. But I guess you have to have something to say. And one person said it. I, I can see why they say it, but it's, it's not a deal breaker at all by any means. So I'm going to end you all with that. Let me get this GoPro off my head because I look goofy. Look at this. <laughs> Got to go give me a thumbnail real quick. 
then the F-150 is driving in both lanes behind me. You can see everything. Like even though I didn't need to see that, I can see it and I can adjust my driving on that. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. All right, so hopefully this video helps you out with your impressions of the Camaro's visibility. Like I said, for me, it's not a problem. I haven't had any close calls in the Camaro. Set your mirrors, that's it, and get good at driving. So if you got any questions about the visibility, let me know. If you have a Camaro and you have a visibility problem, let's talk about that as well. So I'm Q. Thank you for checking out this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.